you guys want to know what the deal is with Neymar Jr. and Paris Saint-Germain? Is he gonna go? Is he not gonna go? What the f*** is happening at the moment? Well, stay tuned because I'm gonna tell you guys in this episode all of the news. Don't you want to know? Yes, you do. Stay tuned. Boom! You already know. This is the spot. For those who are new to this channel, please, by all means, I don't mean to be rude. My name is Diego. This is D Spot. If you like Spanish football, Barça in particular, and the latest development on all of the international NBA players, well then this is your channel, guys. Make sure you click that subscribe button, click that like button, start sharing the video with your friends, and let's get right into it. Good times, good times. There's gonna be good times. Good times. I know there's gonna be doom, 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 doom. You guys know the song, right? <laughs> so, you thought with the signing of Nelson Semedo that it was gonna be good times from here on in? No, 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 no. If you did, then you don't know the club that you're supporting, you don't know what you've been signing on to. This is Fubu Club Barcelona, guys. Where as much as a fart of Leo Messi can make newspapers run the craziest headline stories. Okay. And for those of you who, like myself, have been Barca supporters for many years, as long as their entire lives, they'll know that, hey, one day, it was good times. The next day, it was the worst of times. But I mainly wanted to make this quick video in the hope to basically put some perspective to this entire story, put a little bit of sense to this story because everyone right now is leaking information and it's very hard to follow and really understand what is actually true and what is not true. So let me start by taking this step by step, okay? Step one, the local newspaper here in Catalonia, in Barcelona, Sport came out with the cover story stating that Neymar was uncomfortable at Football Club Barcelona. The reasons that they gave for him being uncomfortable was because of Neymar not getting enough limelight. In other words, he was tired of being overshadowed by Leo Messi. Two, Neymar was tired of dealing with the Spanish justice system. Three, Paris Saint-Germain is offering more money and a whole bunch of other stuff like a hotel chain under his name, etc. A private jet to fly back and forth between Brazil. In any case, that was the story that Sport leaked yesterday. Following this breaking news, which normally, of course, Barcelonistas, we expect these kind of stories to be leaked by the Madrid press, Marca As. However, the fact that this was being leaked by a local newspaper obviously piqued all of our ears and made all of our eyebrows go a little bit something like this. Freaky. So it did become something that we had to take serious. Other respected journalists such as Gianluca Di Marzio from Sky Sports Italy and the Brazilian Marcelo Bechler all started to leak their individual reports on these stories as well as the big news newspapers here in Spain such as Marca As. Quite quickly it became evident that guys we're really dealing with something serious here. What the fuck is going on? Well what's going on? The truth is that Paris Saint-Germain is willing to pay his clause of 222 million to bring him over this summer. That is true. Despite the fact that L'Equipe have been reporting that PSG officials have told them that they are not willing to pay that clause, the truth is, is that they are willing to pay that clause today. The second truth is that they have also agreed on personal terms with Neymar. They have agreed on an annual salary. They have agreed on whatever benefits, whatever else these contract negotiations entail. They have agreed on those terms. Don't forget that they have already been talking since last year. Last year, the famous meetings in Ibiza between Los Neymars and uh, El Sheikh uh, Al Khalifa, or como se llama. Already there, terms had pretty much already been agreed upon. However, obviously Neymar in the end decided to stay because he felt it was too early to leave the club. The third truth, and perhaps most important for us Gules, 
is that Neymar will not leave this summer. Neymar wants to play one more season with Fubo Club Barcelona. He wants to stay at Barca one more year and depending on the results, depending if we win silverware or not, Neymar will leave at the end of next season. The fourth truth is that if the results are not according to Neymar's personal and sporting objectives, he will most likely go to Manchester United not PSG. Neymar is still young and ambitious enough to compete at the highest level to win domestic trophies at a high level. The Premier League besides La Liga is the only league that can offer this. Champions League football. Obviously PSG has got a fantastic squad. However, a Man United squad with the likes of Pogba, Lukaku and Neymar is terrifying and Neymar feels that being under a Mourinho management will allow him to be in a far better position to win the Ballon de Oro. Those today are the four truths. Paris is willing to pay La Clausula of 222 million. Neymar has agreed on personal terms with PSG. Barca is confident that Neymar will not leave this season but Neymar is waiting to see what this season's results will be like in order to determine whether or not to leave next season. If he does leave next season, it will be more likely to Man United than to PSG because Man United will offer him a higher level of competition which he feels he should be playing at in order to win these personal accolades. That is it guys, it's that simple, that is how it stands today. We need to be grateful that he today is still wearing a Barca shirt and that this entire season he will be still playing for the best club in the world, the mejor equipo del mundo, Fútbol Club Barcelona, led by Leo Messi, Neymar Jr. and company, sir. That is the reality. So let's all jump off this negative train, try to continue to be optimistic, and I hope to God that Neymar will, along with Leo Messi, of course, will be the leader of this squad for many more years but at least for now at least one more year guys that is all i wanted to say as i mentioned before make sure you subscribe to my channel d spot for all of your latest spanish football news with a little bias towards football club barcelona el equipo de mi vida el club de mi vida follow me on twitter as well at this is d spot y chicos hasta la semana que viene see you guys next week and who knows at that point what other fucking drama will have broken out. Let's wait and see.